C-47s were cargo aircraft basically derived from the original Douglas DC-3s. Uh, actually, there were a bunch of numbers assigned to them depending upon different configurations. But they were designed and intended to carry cargo, carry paratroopers, carry uh, personnel, whatever task was, was required of them. So each side would hook up and then there's a red light and a green light back by the door and when the light turned green they would start going out exiting out the uh, the, the door. After the war was over this airplane went to the Belgian Air Force for a couple of years then after that went to the French Air Force for a number of years then for about 30 years was the Israeli Air Force primarily stored in the desert that's why this airplane is one of the lowest time airplanes that you'll find of this time oh this is uh, this is 1930s technology as far as being a tail dragger airplane from conventional landing gear as we call it and uh, twin engine uh, old instrumentation, old radios for the most part, just old stuff. What I'm trying to do is uh, try to uh, pass on some of the information, some of this knowledge and information that I've gained to these new guys that are going to have to take over not only maintaining the airplane but flying the airplane.